if you were a divided by sign by Trisha Speed Shaskan and illustrated by Sarah Dillard. If you were a divided by sign, you would divide one number by another number. Four hungry hyenas have a pizza party. They divide a large pizza equally. 16 slices divided by four hyenas equals four slices each. If you were a divided by sign, you would be a symbol used to show division. Division shows how many times one number goes into another number. It's the first wrestling match of the season. Eight tangled legs divided by two wrestlers equals four legs each. Eight divided by two equals four. Two goes into eight four times. Twelve clapping paws divided by six cheerleaders equals two clapping paws each. Six goes into twelve two times. Twelve divided by six equals two. If you were a divided by sign, you would be part of a division problem. Division is a quick way to subtract the same number over and over. Three penguins celebrate their birthdays. They receive 21 pretty presents and 18 colourful balloons. 21 divided by 3 equals 7 presents each. 21 divided by 3 equals 7. To check that, we know that it's the same as 21 take away 3 7 times. 18 divided by 3 equals 6 balloons each. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. To check that, we can have 18 and take away 3 6 times to equal 0. If you were a divided by sign, you would stand between two numbers. The number being divided is called the dividend. The number that divides it is called the divisor. The quotient is the answer to the division problem. 15 singing birds divided by three branches equals five birds on each branch. 15 is the dividend, three is the divisor, five is the quotient. If you were a divided by sign, you could switch the divisor and the quotient, but still have the same dividend. Pinky and her pals share a stack of sandwiches. 20 sandwiches divided by four pigs equals five sandwiches each. 20 divided by four equals five. Pee Wee and his pals split the crumbs. 20 crumbs divided by five mice equals four crumbs each. 20 divided by five equals four. If you are a divided by sign, you could be replaced with the division bar or division box. Angela has painted her toenails. 10 toenails divided by two feet equals five toenails on each foot. 10 divided by two equals five. As a fraction, 10 halves equals five. Or 10 divided by two equals five. If you were divided by sign, you could help find a remainder. A remainder is the number left over when you can't exactly divide one number by another number. Desmond has a stack of 13 bones. He divides the bones between himself and three other hungry hounds. 13 divided by four equals three, with the remainder of one. Each hound gets three bones 
and one bone is left over. If you were a divided by sign, you could be the opposite of a time sign. Multiplication uses repeated addition. Division uses repeated subtraction. The Puffin family is building an ice fort. Three Puffins make eight ice blocks each. They have 24 blocks of ice in total. Three times eight equals 24, which is the same as three plus 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 three equals 24. The ice begins to melt and the puffins rush the melting blocks of ice to three freezers. 24 divided by three equals eight blocks of ice in each freezer. 24, take away three, 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 take away three equals zero. 24 divided by three equals eight. If you were a divided by sign, you could be part of a story problem. Callie and Bailey went fishing. Together they caught 20 fish. If they each caught an equal number, how many fish did each of them catch? The answer is 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. You would divide numbers all day if you were a divided by a sign. 6 divided by 2 equals 3. That's the end of our story. Before you go, let's quickly revise the vocab that we used today. You can see we have the same division question written in three different ways here today. So we have the same question with three different number sentences. The first one uses our standard division symbol. The second one has the symbol that we mainly see for short division. We call that short division symbol. And we also have it represented as a fraction. Who realized there was a link between division and fractions. Let's quickly revise our three key terms from today. So we have the dividend. Now that's the total number. That's always going to be the biggest number because that's the number that you are starting with. So that is the total amount that you're going to divide into separate groups. Then we have the divisor. Well, how many groups are we going to share it between? And then we have the quotient. And that's actually the answer. That's the number of items that you're going to have in each group. So we have dividend, divisor, quotient. Now this is just a visual that we can use to help remember where the dividend, quotient and divisor belong. So for the dividend, can you see the small word den in dividend? Now, den is like a little dark room that's normally underneath a house. So we can pretend that this is our little house and it's underneath, it's underneath. Whereas we have the queen, our quotient, both our Q, U words that sit on top. They sit on top. And then we have our divisor. Okay, that's probably not the best representation, but I love this for den the number underneath and the quotient, our queen, which sits on top of everybody else, our queen, our quotient.